Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as promised, we will do the uh, potatoes. Let's talk about let's talk let's talk potatoes. Words are hard. So right here we have a field of potatoes that I've uh, cultivated. I put down, I pl or I planted, cultivated, and they're ready to go. So first thing you need to do is if your field looks like this, it'll say growth ready uh, remove foliage now just like for the sugar beets there's two ways to do this so the first way is with this right here this is a foliage remover okay this will remove the tops of the potatoes so we're going to do that lower your topper it's what well, they call it a topper so Turn on your topper, and away we go. So we'll do this for a little bit, I'll show you what it looks like, and then we'll put this guy on a worker. Alright, so there you go, you've removed some of the tops. Now, you can't see them, but there's potatoes underneath this. All right, so that's your topper. That's one way of doing it. All right, we're gonna put him on a worker, let him go along. Okay, once you get the tops off, then you take and you get your harvester, which is this thing right here. This is a potato harvester. Okay. get in here line it up and I'll show you uh, unfold so basically what it's going to do is this foot unfolded right here that unfolded that's gonna I don't know if you can see it but that's what's the potatoes are gonna conveyor belt can I get up there nope guess I can't I thought there was a way to get up there. Well, let me see here. There's got to be a way. Alright, well, anyway. Enough dorking around here. Alright, so you got your... You unfolded it. Now you're going to lower it. And you're going to turn it on. And this is going to pick up your potatoes out of the ground. And I'll show you what that looks like here in a minute. Alright, so did we pick any up? Oh, we're like nowhere near it. We need to go over this way. Let's just do this. Alright, there it goes, it's picking them up. So basically what it's doing is it's picking them up. And it's running them through the belt there. There you go. There's a good picture. Oh, wait. Oops, oops, oops. There we go. Alright. There's your picture of your potatoes. Alright, we're going to let him go. So then it says, ready to harvest. Should be... Alright, so that's that's the second way you can do it. Now, if you don't want to do it that way and you have an abundance of money, and I do mean an abundance of money, because I think these cost at least a hundred thousand dollars, let's go check and see. And you can get everything in on Mod Hub. So you have your potato technology right there. So there's your potato planter, there's your topper, there's your harvester, and there's another harvester. Now, you can also go to potato technology. So this thing costs $599,000 in-game, so you have to have abundance. 
I'll show you what it looks like. This is a self-contained potato harvester. So the front part there is going to top it all off, take the tops off, and then the next part is going to scoop them up out of the ground, bring them into the hopper. Okay, so we already have one of those right here. So we're going to roll with this. It's not going to take very long to show you how to do this, but I wanted to make these because I know a lot of people don't, they don't do these kind of uh, tutorials. A lot of people don't even mess with the root crops. This is what this is called. It's called a root crop, R-O-O-T, crop. So potatoes and sugar beet, those are root crops. So if you're uh, doing cattle or pigs and it says you need to uh, feed them root crops, this is what it is. So we're gonna unfold the harvester. I'm gonna try to get in so you can see better. All right, it unfolded the belt. It's bringing the. It's gonna do a lot of stuff. All right, so there's the front. We're gonna lower it, and we're gonna turn it on. I'm gonna go a little ways, and I'm gonna show you what it's show you what it's doing. And I'm gonna put it on a worker and let you see all the. And you can also, there's your, it doesn't do anything, but there's a couple of pictures and diagrams in here. So right now, what we're doing is we are topping it, taking the tops off, and we're picking up the potatoes. See over there on the right-hand corner, bottom right-hand corner, it says harvested. So you've harvested those potatoes. I'm not sure why over here it didn't say that, but it says ready to harvest and we might not have. I don't know. What is the problem here? Why does that say ready to harvest? Oh, I know why. We hit somebody. We didn't get moving. All right, let's, uh, let's see here. Give me this guy. Get this guy out of here. We will let our topper go. We'll start this guy down here. It says we got 11%, but I don't know. We'll go down here and start. I should have done that in the first place. All right. There's a ditch here, so we gotta watch out for the ditch. All right, here we are. Uh, lower, turn on, start. So this should also say I don't know why that says ready to harvest. That should say harvested. Oh well, anyways, I'll figure it out later. Okay, so we're going to let this guy go. Uh, and I'm going to put him on a worker. And I'm going to come out and kind of try to show you here what all it's doing. I don't know, you can't see it. Never mind. Nope. Well, basically what it's doing is it's dropping the dirt and then your potatoes are coming out. They're going into the hopper. There we go. They're right there. And then, like I said, it says on there, harvested. So I'm not sure why this guy is not harvesting. Maybe I don't have it 
Maybe I don't have this guy set right. Okay, we should because we're getting 38%. So, still says ready to harvest. I don't know why. Are we not doing something right? Well, we got potatoes. What do we got going on? Alright. Okay, well, it is. Alright, well. Alright, so that's how you harvest. I'm not sure why it says that it's ready to harvest, but well. Oh well. So we're going to let everybody go for a minute. And we're going to come back over here. I'll show you that. That says harvested right there. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. There you go. Now, if you come into an open field where there's no crop in it and you want to plant uh, you want to plant potatoes so I'll show you what you do here is we get a tractor all right all right let's get a tractor Yeah, I'm not sure why that's not saying. I don't know. Let's see. Anyways, you can do this with a cultivator. You can do it with a disc harrower. I like to use a cultivator. You have to get the right cultivator in order to make it look right and go down into the ground. That's just the way I do it. Okay, we're going to go over to where the all-in-one did. Okay. Unload. All right. Lower and go. So we're going to get rid of some of it. Yep. So you can see it's taken away some of my potatoes too. So no worries there. We're going to set that guy off on a worker. And we are... We're cultivating. So we're getting it ready for the next crop. Whatever the next crop is. Who knows. Alright. So this guy is... We're still... Topping. So we're taking off the tops. And it still says ready to harvest. I don't know why this still says ready to harvest. Oh, harvested. There it goes. May take a little bit. I don't know. Probably takes a little bit of... Yeah. Anyway. Let's go to this guy. Turn around. We're getting close to almost 64%. We'll see if he just runs into this or not. Oh, they're going to stop. Alright, so here... Well, I'm pretty sure you know how to cultivate, so I'm not going to show you the whole cultivating thing. Cultivating is not hard to do, so we won't show you all of that, but that's how you get it ready to go okay so the next thing we're going to do so we're going to keep checking our so we're at 73 percent all right so again this is what it looks like when it's ready to foliage take the tops off this is after it's topped and this is what it looks like when it's harvested. So you can probably tell the difference. That one's ready to harvest. That one's not. You see the little tops. 
they're gone, but there's a little bit left. This is where the potato is, right? There. Alright. Oh good, we're almost at 100%. Yay. Well, we'll ride with this guy for a little bit. Get him to 100%. And then we'll unload him. And I'll show you that. Okay, he's gonna get set back up. The only thing about this, it takes a little bit to set up. And it costs a lot of this. I think this is why a lot of people don't do this in the farm game or farm time. It costs a lot of money. This, like I said, is $599,000. And, you know, it takes a lot to get going. So, let's get our harbor cultivator because he's going to probably screw us up and everybody already knows how to cultivate okay everybody pretty everybody's pretty good on cultivating we all feel comfortable doing that Alright, so now this guy is ready to go. He's ready to be unloaded. Now, you can bring the trailer to this guy or you can dismiss the worker. And see there's my potatoes. You can come and you can you can uh, put it in here yourself. You can bring the you can bring the harvester. The harvester will automatically turn on, and it will load in. So it's full. Okay. So there you go. You can put 10,400 in there. Alright. Now, we're going to put this back, put this bad boy back to work. Alright. Get this bad boy going again. Now, my other guy's ready to go. And again, I could uh, I could bring him to I could bring the trailer to him, or I can take him to the trailer. But I'm not going to use him anymore, so we're just going to take him and pull him off the pull him off and see what we got. Excuse me. All right. Normally I would have just tabbed in, but... Alright, so we're at 100%. There's 12,000 liters. Dismiss your worker. The stuff that I'm driving on is sugar beets. This was a sugar beet uh, field to begin with. Alright show you how to plant this stuff and again then I'll show you we're just gonna leave this guy here alright there's that there's my planter now 
This I can show you. All right, and I'm going to show you this in the. So you have to go to where it says beet, uh, potato technology, and there's your planter right there. And if you kind of now, if you put it on a worker, you don't have to fill it up. If you, this one also is a planter. Uh, it's got a bigger hopper, I believe. You can put more in it. But if you use a worker, do not have to fill it up. But if you want to do it yourself, then you go to the store. And the store is right here. Go down to here where it says seeds or objects. And you get, I think what I did was I just went to, 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 I did I either did this uh, you just ask you just get seeds is what it is like right there seeds you don't need any you don't need any special potato seed I thought for some reason that they had uh, little spuds that they used but I was wrong all right so let's get Let's get this guy over here so you can see it. Alright, so this guy over here, the big one, has... We've seeded. We've cultivated. Or, we've we've defoliaged. We've picked. Harvested. And we have uh, cultivated. Now we're going to seed. So basically, like I said, you get your seeder. You lower your planter. Planter, seeder. All right, and then you just go like this, you go forward, and you'll know you're putting seeds in the ground because it'll look like this. Same with the sugar beets, it kind of looks like this, looks like the little troughs. So I'm going to let this guy go. All right, now, like I said, if you have it on a worker, you will not need to feed up the seeds. However, if you do not have it on a worker, you will see your seeds going down. See where it says 37? It's going to go down to 36 and on, so on, so on, so on. There it's 36. Put it on cruise control. And there you go. All right, that is how you harvest, how you cultivate, how you plant. That is the major steps in farming potatoes. Now, the fun part, the absolute fun part. All right, we are going to go sell. This is everybody's favorite part because this is where the money comes in. All right, so you press on control on your X, uh, PlayStation 4. You press the options button. It's going to save. Okay. There's your map. This is where we are right there. I did a whole map tour on this, so not going to get into that go down and here is your prices now what are we doing potatoes Frankenmuth map is the most they have 1200 I believe that is a I believe that is a train station set up Okay, so if it is, we're going to check it out, but if it is, then we'll go to the grain silo north, and I'll show you. And it, all you have to do is highlight that instead of the Frankenmuth map. All right, so we're going to... Now, you can tell, too, if you have a worker, you can see your money's going down. So, no worries, but... 
There is a way to set this guy up to do it on his own, but I haven't figured that out, so we'll drive him. See the big green thing up in the sky? It's not a bird, it's not a plane. It's your marker for where you're gonna where you're gonna sell your potatoes. I may be wrong. I thought it was a train station that were I don't know. Uh, if you pull up your mini map, yeah, it's the train station. So we're not going to go to the train station, but, well, I'll show it to you. we got time. I don't want to show that to you, because that takes some doing. But, yeah, if you see up in the left-hand corner of your mini-map, it says... It's got a flashing dot. That's where you're going to be. So we're going to try to haul some butt. This uh, tutorial is taking a little bit longer than the last one, and I think because I'm trying to explain more. We're at 28 minutes left. So. But I want everybody to understand how to do it. Because like I said, a lot of people don't don't do this because it's like it's too I won't say too tough but it's not it takes a while to do it takes a long while to do all right so yeah this is the train station Alright, so basically what you would do is come up here. I'm not going to do it, but I will show you. Come up here. You're going to uh, request the train right here. And you can put your potatoes, I believe, right here. Right there. Or is it this one? Nope, it's not that one. It's right there where I showed you. Oh, you can't go in here. Okay, so then the train's going to come. It's going to load them up right here. Okay. And then your train is going to go all the way down here. There's your train. When it gets to here, it's going to, you have to ride the train with it. It's going to kick you out of the train, and you're going to get paid in the upper right hand corner. The good thing about this place is they, they, uh, they make the most, you make the most money here. And that's because you load them up, and the train does most of the work for you. I guess the way it looks like but we're not gonna do that we're gonna take this all right so that's Frankenmuth map so as you can see it's not really worth much unless you do it with the train for potatoes but let me see here. What is uh, sugar beets? So sugar beets are a little bit better per average. Okay. Let's take it to whoops. Uh, the grain silos. Well, yeah, north. 432. All right. So that's the grain silo. And again. It's right over here but you'd follow the green arrow and if you don't know where it's at if you can't see the green light in the sky to get get your mini map up and follow the flashing dot on your go to the flashing dot on your mini map uh, I do recommend turning crops uh, destruction off so you don't destroy a whole bunch of crops 
not that they're yours, but I mean, if you want to do it real realism, then you follow the road and drive the road. But if you don't, like I don't, you just uh, whoops, do a wheelie. You just uh, go through crops, which is what I do. Like I said, there is a video that just came out about uh, sugar beet crop, so we'll probably be doing live feed tonight. Uh, it's Monday night, so my workers completed their task. That's fantastic. So we're going to come over here. Oh, look at there. I ain't got no weight. Oh, well. But yeah, you just find the best place to sell them. I tend not to do the train just because it's a hassle for me sometimes. Uh, here you go. Now, so for potatoes, what do we say? It was $432 a liter or something like that, I think it is. Uh, we're going to empty them. And up in the right hand corner below where your money's at, it will take a total of how many how much you sold. So we'll see and we'll wait and find out. Alright, we sold five thousand two hundred and thirty two dollars worth of potatoes. So yeah, you're not gonna make as much as the sugar beet crop, but you can still make a decent living selling potatoes. Is it a lot of work? It is. It's a lot of equipment too. But here's what I say. It's a game. It's supposed to be fun. Have fun doing it. Don't get stressed about it. And then enjoy. So uh, yeah. That's about all we got for... Oh I will tell you if you come to uh, Michigan Farms map uh, and you dive into this hole here, you can't get out without resetting your equipment, so probably better not to do that. I killed all of the... I killed all the cones. But yeah, I mean, can you... can you make a good uh, bit of money, in-game money, from selling these potatoes? You sure can. You can. I mean... Do you really want to is the question. Oh, we're hung up on a... I know what we're hung up on. Hung up on a cone. I'm going to show you one other thing real quick if we can get down there without running over the cone. And I forgot to show it in the sugar beets. I forgot to show it in the sugar beet video. So this is the farm you start with on uh, when you log in under, uh, what is it, New Farmer. And if you come down here, let me show you your, okay, let's see here. Alright, so here is our farm. This is where you start when you come. Let's get rid of this. So this is our new farm. And then you come out here, and if you want to do sugar beets, because you start off with a crop of sugar beets. You come out here, you harvest your sugar beets, so you can sell them down the street here. And if you look to your left, as I do a wheelie, those are all sugar beets. I'm not sure if you can or cannot sell potatoes here, but we will see because I got a load of potatoes I can do. So yeah, you would just come up here. I think it's all for 
you put your trailer there, unload there. I think these are all for sugar beets. I think that's what it said. Uh, sugar beet piler. Yeah, I think these are all sugar beet pilers. So, I mean, you can sell them here, your sugar beets. So you got three of them. So if you don't want to go as far as the all the way across town, yeah, uh, you can sell them right here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, do do do. I can't remember where it is. Sugar beet pile. Or there we go. So one is making four hundred nine. One is making four hundred six. And one is making 419. I would either go with the Frankenmuth map or I would go with Grain Silo North or the Grain Silo South. But other than that, that is the low down dirty on potatoes. If you get a chance to, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on the videos. Check out the video I just did on sugar beets. It's kind of the same thing. It's the low down dirty on the sugar beets. It tells you where to, how to plant them, how to harvest them, how to sell them, where you can sell them, all that good stuff. We're going to head on back to the farm. And we're going to... You can knock these signs over. Oh, you can't. I always just went through that one. Wow. Alright, we're going to... Get our trailer. I wanted to show you how the other one operates. Okay. But this is a pretty good map. I mean, you start out with a couple big fields. You could make some money starting right out the gate uh, all right so as you can see that is not operating so you have to have the tractor hooked up to the harvester let's do this let us do this We'll take this one. Alright. Okay. Oh, that's why. Alright, we will drop that right there and we will get this one now this is the one that is not self-contained this way and I'll turn on that Huh. Let me 
me see here. There's got to be a way to do it. Oh, I wasn't close enough. That's right. Got to be pretty close. These things are kind of touchy, I guess. There we go. We will offload that. So I'm assuming that the sugar beet piler is only for sugar beets. But since we have 14 minutes left, we're going to utilize it and see if we can take these down there. We're going to see. I'm guessing that we can't do it, but... We'll see. What the heck, right? It's worth a shot. I would guess that since it's a beet piler, it's just meant for beets. But pretty much that is the tutorial about potatoes. So if you like to do root crop, uh, potatoes and sugar beets, I mean, you can make some money off of them. Uh, they're a little bit tedious. Uh, I mean, it's up to you how you want to play your farm. I do know that there are a lot of farming simulator uh, game players who don't do root crops for the simple reason it takes a little bit of time. And no, nope, can't do that. All right, there's your answer. I should have already known. But we can go over here, I believe, and sell them right over here. Uh, maybe, we'll see. See if we can sell them here. And like I said, you just have to be careful. Uh, you have to look and see where you're selling. It'll tell you how much they're worth. Yep, here we go. We're going to sell them right there. And then we're going to haul some butt back to the farm. And probably call this a tutorial. So last time we made 5,000. We made 4,944. So not bad. Not bad at all. Alrighty. We are going to bloop, 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 get on out of here. Alright. Appreciate everybody watching. Like I said, like, share, and subscribe. Go check out the uh, sugar beet video I just put out today. And we shall hopefully see y'all in the next video. This is Andy's Games and Hobbies. Have a great evening.